You're watching Telecom TV from ONS North America 2019. And joining me now is Bob Gaffari, who is General Manager of Enterprise and Cloud Networking Business Unit at Intel. Bob, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. Great to be here. Thank you. Um, there's a huge interest in Edge at the moment. Um, how are you seeing the Edge evolve? Yeah, you know, so it's interesting. So um, everybody talks about the edge. There are so many different aspects of the edge from in terms of what's happening from the central office to what actually happens on the enterprise edge. And just given my role, I focus mostly on what happens on that enterprise edge. And so we work with, uh, you know, the service providers either on a deployment model or we basically work with a traditional enterprise deployment model. And, you know, the edge is just definitely um, really interesting in the sense that historically we had different boxes there on that edge, helping either with the connectivity side or the routing side or the security side and the WAN optimization side. And now with multi-cloud, you know, you sort of need to figure out what's the right way of trying to get this all packaged up in the right way to ultimately meet what enterprises are looking for. So. What specific deployment models are we, are we now seeing come to market? So last year we started seeing, uh, you know, so to, be, to begin with, most of the deployment models up to now have been enterprise based. So you basically go into enterprises that know how to put things together, connect things. Um, and then that's sort of been a lot of where we have basically seeing a lot of the momentum and they might pull in a system integrator or a VAR to be able to help them. and. Also, last year we started seeing some initial uh, deployments from the comm service providers. I think this year, you know, uh, we're going to start seeing a lot more through the uh, communication service providers of really getting in, providing solutions, and uh, so we expect to see you know that picking up a lot more this year. So, what functions are we seeing uh, gain momentum currently? Is it is it mostly concerned with SD WAN? It's definitely starting with SD-WAN. So SD-WAN is definitely the first critical building block that gets landed on. And I think it, uh, you know, it just starts there. And I think the important thing for everybody to understand is that you need to have more, right? So it starts with software-defined WAN and you wanna make sure that you can support multiple clouds, right? So that is an important ingredient. So no matter if you're going into some kind of IaaS environment or PaaS environment or SaaS environment or even on-prem, right? You want to have a solution that can manage well between all of that. And, um, and so basically, so with that, then you basically want to make sure that you also have the capability to add on the security side. So security is really important. So the, you know, having a firewall there in place, and then you want to make sure that if there's anything especially spe spe to do with the applications, you got the application delivery capability. And then also we're starting to see that whatever security measures you put in place, it's not good enough. And so we're starting to see that, you know, the ability to do analytics on that edge and network security analytics on that edge is also something that needs to be factored in in terms of how you sort of grow into the right kind of solution depending on what kind of enterprise uh, you know, is there and what they are trying to achieve from a business standpoint. So, so you've, you've explained there about how we should a address the edge. Um, so communication service providers should be doing this now. That's right, exactly. So I think with the communication service providers, the challenge has been you know, uh, the connectivity, IP, MPLS, well understood. You know, the ability to sort of work with maybe the right partners on SD-WAN vendors. I think that's basically pretty much going pretty well. So now the question is how to take it to the next level. How do you start taking the security functions, making sure they're there so enterprises can enjoy better security on that edge? How do you start thinking about adding that network security analytics capability on that edge? And I think these are the things that need to be thought about in advance so you can plan for them and so you can bring these services out in time. And how can Intel help? So Intel has been really focused on making sure that, uh, you know, no matter how you're looking to go deliver the solutions with uh, our partners, you can uh, do them. So of course, we are here at the ONS show. We are very involved in a lot of open uh, source projects from DPDK to FDIO and a bunch of others. So if you're taking open source ingredients, you're bringing them so we have the capability to make sure they're optimized you know, in a fashion that do what you need to do in a um, 
uh, great way. Uh, also, you know, we've got, uh, you know, a lot of different options with our partners in terms of the kind of platforms that can be adopted, no matter if it's a small branch to a bigger branch to multiple applications at a branch, you need a scalable set of solutions that can go from low to high. And you need to be able to sort of scale up and down depending on what you are. And so we will see, you know, even a single type of company have different deployment models depending on what branches or what different offices they have throughout the world. Great. Well, Bob, good talking to you. Thanks very much indeed. Great. Thank you very much.